All right, what's going on? It's Bobby Skinner, John Boy Media Football, doing a draft film breakdown on a guy I really like out of Arkansas, and that is center Ricky Stromberg. This is a guy who, in the run game, can do a lot for you, whether it's working combos to the next level. I think he's good working single blocks, whether you're working gap or zone. I think he fits everything you want in there and just plays with the temperament you want in the run game. We're going to go through some negatives in the pass pro, but to me, I think he's got the ability to improve. It's a lot of like mental stuff. You just There's things that need to be fixed, but I think they're very fixable things. And again, like I think the stuff in the run will translate to the pass pro eventually with some work. So let's get into it. Make sure to like and subscribe. All that good stuff. Check out the draft uh, playlist. And bam, let's talk about Ricky Stromberg out of Arkansas. So obviously he's going to be lining up at center here. And... What really stands out is the way this guy works combo blocks. And this touchdown should be credited to number 51. So we've got the, the immediate threat linebacker in the A-gap. We've got someone right here, right? So first, he's jumping in this gap. So you give your help to your guard, and you turn those hips of that blitzing linebacker and stay on it long enough. To allow him to slide over and get to that hat placement. Beautiful. And then just great timing. Coming off of this with quickness. You see he's got his eyes locked on there. Helping while locking on. Getting to the angle he wants. That's, I mean, that's perfect. That is beautiful. We got good knee bend. We got good leverage. Good hands inside. And again, we're scoring six points because of Ricky Stromberg's blocks on that play. Here in this next play, going to give a little help. I mean, I just love the way this guy fires off the ball. I mean, he fires off quick. No wasted movement. Good leverage. And, again, helping helping out your guard. Land those hands. Extend. And you're pushing him from the, the A gap into the B gap. You just see the strength. Bam to the A gap. Stay on it as long as you need to, as long as you can, and then peel off. Or I think this is the safety, not a linebacker. But again, just like a, a great job working that stuff. You're going to see him be able to be flexible and work his hips around blocks. Again, now the hands are a little wide, you know, but he lands, and then watch his feet. Watch his feet be able to flip his hips around there. Here. Again, just working to the second level. And you have this player right here. Would like to gain some ground with that first step. But n not being out of control. Help, help, put that hand out there. You land with good pad level, good leverage. And again, like this is just him con continuously does this stuff in the zone game really, really well. Here they're going to do this like little uh, responsibility switch from these linebackers. So pre-snap, this is where his eyes are. He's working from here to here. These two players are, right? But guess what? 42 is replacing 10's gap. So turn his eyes. Bam. Get your shoulder into that. Don't allow him to get that penetration because you're so stuck on these two players right here. On 50 and 42. Get on it. Finish. And just be a bully. Like just great awareness. And you need that stuff playing the center. Because they're going to throw a lot of a lot of different stuff out to you. Again, working another combo to linebacker. Loses balance here from the help from his guard. But again, we're quick off the ball. We're landing our hands. Now again, see his guard knocks him off balance here, right? But like the start of this block is good. Able to regain balance. And we're on our assignment, we're landing, we're flipping our hips, and we're giving our back a hole to go through. So he just does that stuff consistently. Some single block stuff. I mean, you just see him, again, land the hands, work those feet, 
drive those feet, good knee bend, get solid movement. Now, he's not going to be someone who's just like blowing defensive linemen up, but he does have like a good like first punch and, and get through those blocks. But I think he does need to sustain a little better. Like you see on this play, and he can be head heavy and lean, and you're going to see that show up more in pass pro. He's firing off with good leverage, but with that, is he is going to be leaning. Like he's got good hands, so if he's a little high, this defense alignment's going to So you want him to play with a little bit of better better posture and not be leaning like crazy. But for the most part, I mean, he's doing those like those type of blocks really really well. So now let's go through the pass, bro, and there needs to be some improvement. We'll start with uh, a better rep here. It kind of shows what he's capable of. So we got that head-to-head -head relationship. Punching. See how he stuns the pass rusher? Good stuff. Like, that's the type of stuff he is capable of. And you're going to see a good play here. But you're going to see where he has some technique flaws that can get him in trouble that will. See how we're we're punching, but we're leaning into this punch. We're getting good placement, but we're leaning into this punch. And just like that run block we showed a couple plays ago, better defense alignment are going to take this shoulder pad, uh, pull, and then rip with that right arm and get a clean win. But once he's got his hands on guys, his feet move pretty well. Like once he's connected to the block, he does a pretty solid job. And, but you're going to see here, this is the bad part of that, that leaning. Like I think his upper body, his, his, his feet can kind of be behind his upper body. We want to play to the full man relationship. We're punching, but we're leaning and we're head heavy. And this big goal post is in the way. But this defense alignment is able to knock hands off of him. That gets him leaning. And allows uh, you know the quarterback to get hit. And a lot of times you want to see him punch quicker and not be as wide in the pass pro game. Like see how these hands are out here, and just gives up his chest to the defensive lineman. Now he does a good job recovering, right? Like bring these arms back and replace the hands. But still, at that point, you're in your quarterback's lap. Like you want to be punching here. Instead, the defense alignment is bringing the punch, and you're you know you're you're causing you're 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 muddying it up for your quarterback. And here you're gonna see like good recovery ability, and that's what I like. It's just good abil raw ability to recover, and that's why I have hope for him. Gr you know, growing as a pass protector in the next level. And this is against a blitzing linebacker. But we're setting here. And he's working here. And you see how, like I said, his like his feet are almost behind his his hands and his upper body. Like we're punching into this, but our feet haven't moved with it. Like you kind of gotta see this, and you wanna move you gotta move your feet before you throw on this punch. You move your feet before you throw this punch, you're stonewalling him, you're right here. Now again, a good job to recover, get his hand on that hip and wash it around, but you don't want to be in that position as a center. If you just move your feet, move your feet. Again, good recovery ability. But those are those are areas that he he should improve on. This last play in pass pro. Again, hands are wide. Hands are wide. Defense alignment is landing the punch. It's not even a great punch by the defense alignment. But he's able, like that move I said before, where pull and rip, and you've got your your head facing straight down because he's leaning into this. Again, you've got the slide protection, so it's not the worst thing in the world. But um, those are areas that he needs to improve. So I like, I really, really do like Ricky Stromberg. I think he's going to grow. Maybe not someone you plug and play right away. You know, he'll help you in the run game depending on what you're running right away. Um, you know, obviously you got to adjust to NFL strength and all, all of that. But I, I think this guy's going to be a solid center in the NFL. And I don't know what round he's going to go in, but I think some team's going to get a player that they are re-signing in four years and very happy with. So 
Like and subscribe to the channel, all that good stuff. Check out the playlist. See you on the next video.